Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Yanfly's Weapon Animations plugin. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can get this plugin. It's going to take you to this place right here. You're going to click on Weapon Animations, and you're going to right click on this uh, English mirror, and then you're going to save link as. Put this JS folder into your uh, game folder, JS Plugins folder, and you can find that by clicking on Game, Open Folder and then you see JS here, plugin. So you're gonna copy paste that file in there or just save it directly into there. Once you've done that, you're gonna to go to your plugin manager and you're gonna put it um, right here under the equipped core. So you will need the equipped core as well as the weapon animations plugin. Once you've got that, uh, basically, basically make sure that it's on and you have the file path img slash weapons. Um, you can change that, but just keep it uh, like this for uh, the tutorial. Uh, image smoothing, it's up to you, true or false. Um, I've selected to just use the default of uh, false and then default motion uh, swing seems seems to work fine for most animations but um, you're gonna need to, to create a weapons folder um, and let me show you how to get the other thing you would need so at the very top of uh, yenfly.mo you're gonna see this thing called resources click on that and then click on yenfly freebies now you've got some icon sets here really awesome stuff but we're gonna go to the weapon sheets once you've got this, you can either right click this and save as and then uh, uh, add that to your icon set or th the easier uh, uh, thing, to, uh, thing to do would be to just download the full icon set that's got this already put into it. Unless you've edited, uh, you modified your icon set like I have, I've had to manually copy paste that in. But what you're going to do is you're going to get this weapons rar You're going to right click save that link as. And then save the RAR, the RAR, doesn't matter where, but we're going to copy or, or cut or paste it into um, our IMG slash weapons folder. So what we're going to do is go to game, open folder, go to the IMG folder, create a new folder called weapons, and then copy and paste it into this directory directly. So you don't want to have another folder inside the weapons called weapons. You just want to go IMG weapons and inside that directory you have all of the PNG files. So just paste all of those there. If you do have another folder called Weapons Weapons, um, you can still make that work. All you have to do is go to the plugin, and, uh, the Weapon Animation plugin, and add another slash weapons right here, and it would work fine. Um, once we've got that, let's take a look at some of the parameters, uh, or I mean the, the help file. The main thing you're going to be doing is the, the weapon image replace. And if you want to replace any weapon you want, like say you have a dagger, but you're calling it the extra long dagger of longness of Stretch Armstrong or whatever, you're gonna and you want it to look like a sword, you can just do a weapon image colon and then put two right there. And when you attack, you're gonna put this note tag on the weapons note tag just so that you know um, when you use that dagger, it'll look like a sword. But if uh, you want to use the icons that we or the the PNG files that we just got. Uh, from the Yanfly.mo uh, freebies, we're going to use this thing, weapon image colon, and then we're going to put in the file name. So we can copy paste this, and we're going to go over to um, our weapons. And in the weapons note tag, you can put weapon image and then type in the exact name of the file without the name of the extension. So you're not going to put, um, let's, where did I put it? Here we go. You're not going to put axe space uh, dot png. You're just going to put axe space space, and it'll look like that. In this case, it's the the, the dagger one, so it was like uh, the dark dagger one. So dagger space dark, and we can see that right there. And uh, when you attack with it, it's going to make it look like that instead of its regular uh, attack animation. But that's not all you can do with this. You can replace, and I think this is really cool, you can replace your attack animation with um, a web, uh, any animation you want. So, for example, I've made a state called Flaming Blade. And inside of this state, it's got weapon animation, colon, and then the number of the animation we want. So if we look at our animation 398, see that? We've got that. So if the player has this state on them, when they attack, their weapon animation will look like this. So I want to go ahead and uh, show you some of the, the custom weapons. So I've already uh, changed my actors to start with some of the custom weapons just for this tutorial.
So we're going to attack with Lydia. She's got a dagger. And you can see that the color of the dagger is red. All of these weapons are going to be red. So that's a red staff. This is the, the light beam sword. Looks really awesome. And then there's the red sword. Um, let's see what happens if we uh, get Tiana to cast a flaming blade on somebody. So now he's got flaming blade. When he attacks, instead of a normal slash, we see the fire animation go up and down. That looks cool. And you can do this with any weapon and any animation, so you can really have some cool states that make your attacks uh, do whatever element. If we go back to our states, um, you see it's not changing anything, but what I would normally do is attack, and I'd go to attack element and fire. And now when you attack with flaming blade, it's going to attack with the element of fire, and it's going to look like fire. So that's one really cool thing that you can do. Really, really simple plugin. You can do um, a lot of amazing stuff with it, and you can edit these PNG files and use your own PNG files. Let's go to the, the help file one more time. Go over some of the other things that you can do. And I want to talk about the hierarchy, like what is going to overwrite what. So if you have a weapon animation or an image on a state, that's going to take precedence over everything else. So if you have a weapon animation on your weapon, but then you have a state, it's going to show you the state animation instead of the weapon. And it goes in this order. So uh, enemy animation will be under actors and so forth. And these will be taking precedence over one another. If you want to make your own uh, weapon sheets, here's the right here in the, in the help file. It gives you the, the pixel uh, width and height that you would need. So, really cool plugin. Check it out. Uh, Yenfly. Uh, it's the YEP weapon animation plugin. If you want to make your uh, weapons attack like a, a missile attack, you could be a sword that attacks like a missile attack. All you'd have to do is put this motion on the sword. So, if you have like a sword of, of like, I don't know, uh, lightning bolts, you can have your sword swing at the air and then show animation of a lightning bolt. And uh, it looks really cool. So uh, have fun with this. Um, check it out. If you like this video, please like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you have any special requests or comments, please leave them below. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching this. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.